All right, welcome back to, I think this is probably our last Angular Material Table tutorial. In the last one, we talked about pagination, how to add pages to our table, and then before that, we created our table with some fake data from a dummy API. And if you missed those two, I do recommend you going back. I actually haven't released the pagination example yet, uh, but it will be by the time you see this video. So I do recommend to go check out those two. And if you like this kind of stuff, you never know what we're going to talk about on this channel. It's just me continuously learning. And uh, as I learn, I share it with you guys, and hopefully we learn together. And if that sounds interesting to you, if that sounds good to you, don't forget to hit subscribe. My current goal is a thousand and we're getting really really close so i do appreciate you that have subscribed and today we're going to add on to our table and this is probably going to be a quick video but we're just going to add sorting to our table so what i mean by that is if i click on id here and i want it to be descending or ascending or just neutral i can do that i can just click on this and there will be a down arrow and maybe it'll you know, do this backwards. So we'll start with five and then four and three, two, one. And you can also do that alphabetically with strings. So how do we add that to our table? Maybe they have an example actually on uh, on the angular material and they do. So here's the number. If I click on it, you can see there's an arrow and there's an up arrow. But if I click on it again, it'll go descending and we can do the same with the name. And now it's alphabetically descending. Which I guess is interesting because you would think descending, with the arrow going down, descending would be starting with A and then going to Z. But I guess it's the opposite of that. I never really noticed. But anyway, we're going to add this to our project, our little dummy demo project. And if you've been following along, uh, we're just going to continue where we left off. And there will be some links in the description below because really we're just going to copy and paste a few things and also write a few things, I guess. We're going to be copy and pasting a few things like this import statement right here, which we're going to put, if you would have guessed, in the app module TypeScript file. And once again, we just want to let Angular know, hey, we're going to use this mat sort table module, and we're going to import that into this project. So mat sort table, and I guess it's not going to do IntelliSense, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in the imports here, just as we done with the table and pagination. And now we're going to do it with the sort. So don't forget to save that. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I want to go to our HTML and I want to look at the table tag, the opening tag. And here I'm going to add a property called mat sort with a capital S. And another thing we want to do is each individual header, uh, maybe we don't want to enable sorting on each, each column. Like in this example here, maybe we don't want to, you know, add it for weight. Maybe we just want a few of them. That would make sense. What Angular allows you to do is you can specify which headers you want to add that sorting to. So if I wanted to, what's this one? This is the ID. If I wanted this one to be able to sort, I would add in the opening tag, mat sort header. Uh, each word separated by a dash. And now this ID is able to be sorted upon. And these two, since they don't have the mat sort header and the opening tags, they won't be able to be sorted. And we'll add it uh, after I get this running just so you can see, you know, that is what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, so we'll save that. And a lot like the paginator, um, we're going to also create a view child and we're going to reference the mat sort. And I'm not going to give it a specific name like I did uh, when I showed you the paginator. I'm just going to say view child, and it's going to be uh, the selector of mat sort. And then when I hit tab there, it will also bring it into our imports up here above. So make sure you have that if you don't have it uh, pulled in for you. I'm just going to name it sort, and the type is going to be mat uh, sort. All right. And they're very simple, just like we did when we said, hey, this data, uh, the paginator for that data is this paginator that we referenced in the HTML template. We're also going to do the same thing with sort. We're going to say, hey, this data sort functionality, it's going to be tied to this sort that we referenced in the HTML template. So we could say this dot data dot sort and not mat sort, I don't know why I changed it to that, sort is equal to this dot sort. 
So that should be everything we need to do to set up sorting. Once again, we don't have to write any kind of logic. We don't have to loop through, write some kind of loop and say, okay, sort it or use this sort and then you know display it this way. It does all of that for us, which is really nice. Now, if we go ahead and look at the application, we should see that ID, the sort is enabled. We know that because there's an arrow now beside when I hover over it. And notice there's not an arrow by title or completed right now, just ID. If I click on it, we can sort it this way. So here we are descending and here just is normally and then we have ascending. And normally and ascending are the same thing just because of how our data came in. So if we wanted to also add sorting to the title, pretty easy fix. We just go back to our HTML. We look for the title uh, table header here. And then in that opening tag, we're going to say mat sort header for this as well. And we'll save, it'll recompile and then we'll go look at it. And now we can sort by title. So that is how you can add some sorting into your Angular Material table. And like I said, I think that'll be the last Angular Material table video I'll do, unless I think of something else, but we'll see what we uh, end up doing next. Stay tuned and hope to see you then. And thanks so much for watching.